Hello everyone, good evening. Welcome to Astra, the daily current affairs. Uh, yesterday I have not uh, uploaded the current affairs it seems. So I will be uploading it very soon. Uh, there were some issues with the uh, uh, uploading in that the team has informed me just now. Let's have a look at today's newspaper. The A to Z of scams Congress. This is about uh, the so-called advertisement that was given by uh, BRS party in Telangana as this is Hindu edition of uh, Hyderabad. I am uh, as it is going for elections. Telangana is going for elections. They have given this. But let's have a look at uh, what exactly are important here. Here they have given some scams which has uh, rocked the country since independence. So whenever you are writing certain things called corruption, misutilization of public funds in ethics and uh, what are the challenges that India has seen in the first 70 years of independence this can be used say for example Jeep scandal case 1948 INA treasury chest case 1947 so these are the scams that has been there Beaufort's 1987 Harshad Mehta scam 1992 Vadra DLF scam 2013 Telgi scam 2002 Neral, uh, National Herald scam 2012 Vote for note 2015, 2G scam spectrum 2018. So if you look at all these things, so where you can use this, these can be used in answer writing as substantiations. So just remember them as substantiations for answer writing. So this can be helpful in essay as well as in ethics and in GS paper 2 where you have good governance concepts. Right. So this is a list of the scams that they have given. By the way, this can be used for our uh, answer. So this is the thing that you have to take from this advertisement. Next one. Let's go to the top page. So Mr. Dhanunjay Chandra Chud says, so the Chief Justice of India says, Governor can't withhold the repassed bills, says Supreme Court. Now the court agrees with the Tamil Nadu government argument that the constitution does not provide Governor Ravi the discretion to withhold the 10 bills if it is reenacted. Now what is this? Uh, let's have a quick look about it. Whenever you want to pass a bill in the so-called parliament, it has to be passed by each house. The normal bills has to be passed by each house individually and then it has to be given by the, it has to get to the president's assent as per article 111 of the Indian constitution. Now, uh, when article 111 is exercised by the president, the president has some veto powers. He can reject the bill, he can uh, uh, suspend the bill or he can withhold the bill by keeping it in his pocket for a very long time. That is called pocket veto. Uh, rejecting his absolute veto and then he can uh, go and send it back with uh, send it back to the parliament for reconsideration but what we have to understand is if the bill is reconsidered by both houses of the parliament it has to get its assent by the president this was added through the 42nd constitutional amendment act 1976 this was done as a part of parliament so under article 111 the president of india has to give assent if the bill is reenacted in the parliament which means the parliament with a simple uh, majority it can it has the overriding power of the parliament's veto this is what we have to understand but when it comes to article 200 uh, the same thing happens in the state legislature if the legislature has two houses you know, that is uh, that is the assembly as well as the council what is uh, one thing that we have to identify is both the houses has to pass the bill the normal bills then under article 200 it goes to the governor when it goes to the governor just like the president under article 111 the governor under article 200 can exercise his veto powers so what are the veto powers that the governor has the same veto powers he can uh, reject the bill he can uh, withhold the bill by keeping in his pocket uh, that is called uh, uh, pocket veto rejecting his absolute veto he can send back it to the so-called uh, the state legislature again for reenactment but here in the constitution when it is re-enacted and when it is sent back to the president they when it is sent back to the governor there under article 111 president is bound to give his advice but here the governor was not bound to give so this was the thing which was there uh, as per 42nd constitutional amendment act however what governor can do is under article 201 he can recommend the same bill or reserve the bill for the consideration of the governor the president of india this is what we have under article 200 article 201 article 111 uh, to the president and to the first two is for the governor. Now, what Supreme Court has given this judgment is once it is reenacted and it is sent back to the governor, he cannot reject the bill, which means just like what president has, he has the same power. So, extremely important this articles, Article 111, please have a look, Article 200, Article 201, which are important for our prelims as well as for mains, and this comes under the veto powers the veto powers of the president and the veto powers of the governor respectively so this is extremely important guys have a look at it irb jawan among two killed in manipur so 
the violence in Manipur is still continuing and uh, Manipur, even after the so-called seven months, it is not coming onto uh, the catch hold of the so-called law and order. It is something which is grave to hear. So this is Northeast insurgencies or Northeast uh, turmoil that is happening. So where you can use this internal security and the turmoil that is happening in the Manipur state. China is the biggest security anxiety for India and Australia says uh, the common communique uh, and their defense and foreign ministers two plus two ministerial dialogue. So what is this two plus two ministerial dialogue? Two plus two means the defense ministers of two houses plus uh, two countries plus the external affairs ministries of two countries will be together in discussing the vital challenges. So this is defense and foreign ministers of two countries is two plus two dialogue very important for us. Recently we have concluded with the so-called USA. Now we are doing it with Australia. Now Harbour Inferno. This is about uh, some boats getting capsized in the fire due to the so-called uh, uh, some uh, uh, the news report is that someone has set these boats in the fire in the Vishakapatnam port. So what is important for us is have a look at Vishakapatnam port and major ports of India. This is important for our prelims, right? The investigation is under process. We have to wait and watch who has done this. In Uttar Kasi, rescue team manages to install six inch pipeline to send food. And now this is regarding to the so called the tunnel uh, uh, digging that has happened after the collapse of the trapped people or the trapped in an under construction tunnel at Uttar Kasi. So this is the thing which they are continuing. It, it, it has not come. Telangana Falls 2023 BRS campaign narrative is slowly based on the developmental work. So they are saying that it is based on the developmental work. So spotlight on Sirisila, Telangana's textile hub. So Sirisila is known as Telangana's textile hub. Jumping into the fray for a cause, or leave it. Uh, this is speaking about to the so-called having face of the understood and tough situations. The immigrants undergo Gulf nations, the candidate fighting the elections with individual and secure finances. So this is about some local uh, uh, Sirisila news. Uh, no need to worry about it into that depth. So let's have a look at it. Uh, the Bengal set the grand stage for the growth. So even Bengal is coming out and giving advertisements. So this is something very new in the country. So far, we have not seen Bengal coming and giving uh, this type of advertisements in all India news or all India newspapers. So something great happening here. So India is shining, by the way. So we can say it. KCR promises to set up food processing units where fitness test free for auto rickshaws. So this is another promise Mr. KCR has given as a part of his uh, election campaign. So he sets he said go for food processing units and wave fitness test fee for auto rickshaws so very extremely important food processing units because food processing units are uh, as a part of your gs paper 3 so one thing that we have to understand is even not for UPSC, but if you are going to become an entrepreneur uh, food processing units are going to be one of the most uh, vital things in the country that is going to revolutionize uh, uh, the entrepreneurship altogether so for the youth of the country if you are looking for something which is going to have revolutionized effect in the coming days obviously that food processing sector is going to help we have to wait and watch if kcr wins back how that is going to be rolled out and this is the opportunity for the youth to look at and to capture this uh, absolutely uh, scheme a great scheme ECA is observing visiting phone booths in the Maoist affected areas of Bhupalapalli. So obviously election commission of India is doing its utmost uh, duty in securing free and fair elections. Amisha rakes of Hyderabad liberation struggle and BRS neglect silent wave in four in favor of our party says BJP leader. So Amisha has come for election campaigning. So these are the things that we have uh, in the election campaigns so we can uh, conveniently neglect them guys. So but one best article has been written today by Mr. Kulpreb Balakrishnan. So this is about the employment challenge, making sense of employment challenge. Now, what is this? The challenge is uh, given by uh, Infosys CEO, Mr. Narayana Murthy, saying that the Indian youth has to work for at least 70 hours a week. So in this context, uh, he has said that Mr. Narayana Murthy has said that uh, uh, the youth of Japan, the youth of Germany has worked very hard in order to make their countries to be at uh, uh, somewhere around the fourth place or the fifth place of their GDP. But the thing is, uh, this person is saying whether it is compatible to compare India with Germany and Japan. And uh, what is the differences between the so-called Indian scenario, Japanese scenario and German scenario as far as economic opportunities are considered. So what we have to do is we have to read this article because a very good article has been written and he has given some great insights saying that how Japanese environment or work culture is different from Germany and how both are different from India's environment and whether this can be possible. The 70 hours work is possible in India. So this was the thing that he has given. So this is must read article for everyone. End of a dream run. This is about the so-called India losing the cricket or Australia winning. That would be better to say. So Australia winning uh, uh, the World Cup uh, 
so in the end of a dream run so we have been running for this uh, successfully we have won 10 matches but uh, the final match was something uh, which has given us some uh, in, uh, some heartening result right so one thing is even in the 2003 finals we have seen the same thing that was led by uh, the so called mr ganguly so the same thing was done here also by with australians so that is regarding to the sports guys everyone is aware of it leap in the dark so what is this so someone is leaping in the dark and that is argentina so the new self declared anarcho capitalist as president of argentina that is mr javier miley so what this fellow has done he has announced himself as the president of argentina now this is uh, something like uh, this is challenging the democratic system where argentina has been uh, in democracy for almost four decades now he has assumed his position by considering the so-called economic situation which is in argentina post covid 19 argentina was in turmoil as a result uh, this fellow has captured that political or public uh, sympathy and he has himself declared as the president now what it is going to be is argentina is already in the dark which means uh, the economic crisis in argentina is leaping or it is uh, bouncing at a very fire pace and this fellow capturing it in the form of non-democratic means is something which this fellow is going to do what does this mean it is going to worsen the economic woes why it is going to worsen the economic woes when you do not have political stability or democratic quality obviously it is going to create some economic crisis that is called the link between socio-economic political conditions of argentina a fact check unit that is unconstitutional so this is regarding to the so-called recent government setting up a fact check unit though by government order uh, who has set up this? Tamil Nadu has set up this. So how it is unconstitutional, they have described this, not that much importance. Just remember one thing. In India, we had something called Information Technology Rules 2021, which is known as Intermediary Guidelines and Digital Media Ethics Code. Now, it is going to check something which is false news, fake news or misleading information with respect to of any business of the central government. So in this context, data of the this article, the government of Tamil Nadu orders violates so several fundamental rights and is revealed with many illegalities this is what it is being said obviously this is taking away the right to freedom of expression this is what the context of this article is very new focus on emerging technologies so this was the article which was written on the so-called artificial technologies please have a look at what are the artificial technologies that they have going to have particularly in the field of the so-called unmanned aid systems in this article is about the so-called how Emerging technologies are going to play a very crucial role in our defense or military equipment. So this is regarding defense uh, equipment. So please have a look at this, guys. So this can be useful in internal security issues. After this, uh, Chhattisgarh shows progress but has a long way to go. Australia draws a line between the peaceful protests and violence vandalism. This is giving a counter to the so-called Kennedy's counterparts who has criticized in India for being uh, 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 something going against Kennedy and lines or uh, Australia has been speaking in favor of the so-called peaceful as well as uh, violence vandalism. So whenever they go for violence vandalism, Australia is not going to uh, entertain it. So this can be used in answer writing if you are PSIR student. Please have a look at it. India, US, Australia relations as a part of two plus two dialogue. This has come. Please have a look at it. That is more than enough. So center selective transfer appointments may trigger embarrassing outcomes, says Supreme Court. Now this is regarding to the so-called uh changes or tinkering with the so-called judicial seniority through selective appointments and transfers so this is about again uh, the tussle between the center and the state as far as the so-called <coughs> yeah as far as the so-called uh appointment of supreme court judges is considered now article 124 of indian constitution says President can appoint or President shall appoint the Supreme Court uh, judges as well as the Chief Judge of Supreme Court. However, he has to follow the collegium system. Now, whenever he is following the collegium system, there is no state and pass that he has to abide by that uh, order. So, as a result of what this President is choosing, President, by the way, means the Council of Ministers selected by the Prime Minister. They are being very choosy while selecting these leaders. The evening of music and dance 54 Tipki opens with a starry ceremony. Now, this is about entertainment, guys. International uh, Film Festival commenced from the so-called uh, Goa. Uh, this is a, a grand opening. So just remember that nothing more is important. You can uh, leave it. More finance needed to wean India's electric grid of coal. Leave it, guys. So this is about world news. Subsidies to spur growth. Now, so what is this, guys? Very important for our problems. 
subsidies to spur growth for investments to take uh, for now investments to take up post 2024 now what does this mean whenever you study growth national income that is equal to national income is calculated through expenditure by the formula c plus i plus g plus x minus m now goldman saches what it says is this year it is this government expenditure which is going to propel the national income of the country but in the upcoming year that is going to be boosted by the so-called investments by the private players so that is what it has given so the spending by the central and state governments during this election season is going to be the most important factor for the national income contribution this year particularly in the next year it will be driven by the so-called uh, your uh, private investments that was what the summary is so one thing it is important in the ppp mode of uh, uh, investments so blue dot which is a private organization which is involved in the logistics uh, exchange or logistics provider has tied up with indian post which is a public sector unit in order to ensure that they are going to develop digital parcel service lockers and post offices under the partnership with indian post so just remember this this can be used as a ppp model in order to revolutionize the logistics sector in india wcwa the world coal association has renamed itself as the future coal what is this future coal please remember this association the global alliance for sustainable coal they can ask these type of questions in prelims so they have renamed it the world uh, wca so uh, the entity has sought technological intervention for sustainable usage of coal resource for reliable and affordable supply of energy to a vast majority of the world's population so this is about the so-called uh, organizations uh, renaming just remember that taf and means electric hydrogen power tractors for europe not important this is about europe uh, things go to the so-called text and context page guys the bangladesh garment workers unrest so there is some unrest which is happening in the uh, informal sector or the so-called uh, micro skill medium sector of bangladesh if you are interested you can read otherwise not important so these are the things that we have in the current affairs guys thanks for joining have a great day